This series of videos I call Understanding Pinball. I filmed these over 20 years ago in 1989 and I show you on each game that it's more than just flipping the flippers. There's actually a really neat set of rules on how to play each game. I hope you enjoy them. Stern's Galaxy was released in January of 1980. A six-digit game, which Stern selected to introduce the relay that flashes all the general illumination lights. This was the first game to employ that, and other manufacturers followed suit later down the road. During advertising, the flashing happens also if you spell galaxy. Once we start a game, up the shooter ramp to the top, where the metal wire form can swing your ball around, sometimes dropping into the hole. This hole is worth whatever the light happens to be on at the time. It does not advance from the hole. Your thumper bumper, which is worth a thousand points, also will change the whole score, as will your one spinning target that's in the center of the playfield near the top. Once this goes up, it goes right back down again. It is a feature, though, that holds from ball to ball, so wherever your ball drains, that's where it'll start up again. Because of the one-way gate here, your ball must now roll down one of these three lanes, or this outside lane here. And this will instantly spot some of the letters in Galaxy. However, the A's are connected together, so if you hit one A, you'll spot the other. G and L. You also, at the same time, turn the lights on up in this chamber here. When your ball goes up, you will get 2,000 for each lit light, plus another 3,000. Two more 1,000 point thumper bumpers. And to the right, these three round targets. Notice that the, the targets and the playfield each has a colored star, black, yellow, and blue. And they correspond to the drop targets on the other side of the playfield. But there's an extra drop target, a red one. You'll find that on the inside feeder lanes on both sides of the play field. And what these do is spot the appropriate target. Stern had been the company that introduced these remote control targets on the game right before this meteor. But you can, of course, hit the targets direct. Now watch what happens when you do this. When you complete all four, you get the points for the planet Mercury, 5,000, and the light advances to Venus. These lights go right across the play field. And they're also connected with your bonus at the bottom. My green two times bonus is now lit because I'm at Venus. When I get to the next planet, 10,000 points, and I'm up to Mars, and my three times bonus is lit. Before we go any further though, I want to point out one feature that will shut off at four times. On the outside flipper feeder lane, you'll see this light here on this side, and the same light on the right side. When that's lit, that can also spot a random target. Now that feature shuts itself off when you get up to four times, which happens at Saturn. So Jupiter, I still get a free ride. I'm gonna hit that same target again. And now the feature shuts off. The general illumination lights also flashed though. That was indicating that the sun special is now lit because I'm now at Saturn. If the targets are gotten again,
I'll now advance to Uranus. Neptune lights five times. As soon as it counts up. Your last one is Pluto. However, if your ball should drain, you, when your ball comes back to the playfield, Uranus stays on and your special sun comes back on again in the center. And your five times bonus still stays intact. We never did finish lighting Galaxy. If you hit the X here, or hit this switch here when your ball drains, it will spot that X. And spot it there too. Getting a complete galaxy will flash the lights and light the extra ball lane here. And this will alternate between both sides when the slingshot on either side is hit. And the letters, of course, do remain in the memory. And here I'll get 2,000 for each letter plus an additional 3,000. Spelling galaxy again. We'll light the special hole for the outside lane, which also alternate. Of course, you must roll through that lane, that special or extra ball. To show you two other small but important features, I'll need to start a new game. Your bonus always starts at 2,000 here. When that light's lit, or when you get the 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, or 40,000 lit with no odd numbers, the light in front of the spinner target comes on, making it worth a thousand instead of a hundred, in addition to changing that whole score that we showed you earlier. And this light next to the pop bumper that changes the same whole score will come on if you complete the X and the Y. And that will always make any of these lanes worth 5,000 instead of 500. That light will stay on for the rest of the game. Already ahead with a nasty bit of cheating here. Galaxy has already been spelled once, and my extra bowl lane is lit. I spotted the Y. Spelling Galaxy a second time, of course, will light my outlines for a special in addition to being the uh, extra ball. on planet Mars, so my uh, outside in lanes are still lit here, so I can still spot targets down. I did get the uh, extra ball there. Lights flashing until the ball is shot. That's a great place to get stuck. Not even used to the blast being off here, otherwise I would have picked the ball up and knocked it over again. Having those slingshots on the playfield is very important to get the speed up on the ball. It's also nice having that advance right there in the center of the playfield. Got my galaxy credit. 10,000 because I went outside the lane here. And now to move on to my last ball. The memory drop targets drop down where I left off. A really great feature. Innovative uh, spin electronics. That pop was for the uh, setting for free game we had.
for the um, Sun Special. That's adjustable too. A lot of the features in this were adjustable, as in any pinball. I'm up to four times my bonus here. Galaxy certainly was an innovative game. 